and welcome back to Gigi's Kitchen. My name's Alexis and today I wanted to show you my delicious strawberries in sherry from my new book, Gifts from Grandpa. My strawberries in sherry recipe but before I do if you are new to my channel then hello and welcome it's lovely to have you here and if you love cooking videos and you want to see more like this one then I upload every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 a.m. so please don't forget to hit that subscribe button as I just mentioned today I want to show you my delicious strawberries and sherry recipe this recipe is in my new cookbook gifts from grandpa which is available to buy on Amazon and I will link it in the description box below for you this book has been written in loving memory of my dad because I I think that my dad was an amazing cook so I wanted to write down lots of his recipes and put them in this book so in this book are my dad's recipes a few of mine a couple of my nans and one of my grandfather's as well my dad also believed that everybody should have a home and everybody should have a place to go to so a pound from the sale of each book will go to the homeless charity crisis now on to my strawberries and sherry recipe and I call it mine but it's actually my father's and this was something he did really well. I love this recipe um, and I always used to enjoy having this when it was a hot summer's day and he'd make this and we'd have it with cream and stuff. It was just delicious. Um, I actually think he thought of this as well. So what he did was he used to hold the strawberries and then he'd sort of marinate them in the in the sherry and the sugar and that was it that's all he did he keep them in the fridge for a little while and then he just serves them like that with a bit of cream so I thought I'd show you how to do this today so here is my strawberries in sherry recipe for this recipe I've got 250 grams of strawberries um, but in the actual recipe in the book and on my blog, it actually says 500 grams. It was, the reason is I'm only doing this for Howard and I today, my husband and I. So I'm only using half the ingredients today. So just bear that in mind. But um, yes, I'm going to start to hold the strawberries now and I'll show you how to do that. So what you do is you insert the knife in the top and then you slide it round until it makes a full circle and then hopefully it should pull out the stem that is the bitter part of the strawberry and then all I'm going to do is just chop those in half and put them into the bowl um, and I'm going to add sherry in a minute as well but I'll show you that in a minute so yeah so literally that's all you do and I'm going to continue this process now until all of the strawberries have been chopped so I've holed all of my strawberries and I've cut them in half and now what I'm going to do is add just a couple of tablespoons of this cream of sherry. This is a sweet sherry so this actually tastes much better with the strawberries. If you haven't got sweet sherry it doesn't matter too much but sweet sherry is a lot better with strawberries rather than dry I think personally but you can try it out so I'm just going to add a couple of tablespoons of sherry to that and then I'm also going to sprinkle over a couple of tablespoons of sugar and I've got coconut sugar but you can use brown sugar or any type of sugar you like I'm only using a couple of tablespoons because literally that is all we will need we won't need much more than this and as I mentioned earlier I'm only doing half the ingredients so if you were making this for the 500 grams, um, you would need four tablespoons of sugar and four tablespoons of sherry. So that's that done. And now I'm just going to mix these together. Oh, that smells really good already. I can smell the alcohol on them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into the fridge until we want to eat it now. So the strawberries have been in the fridge for a couple of hours while I've been cooking our dinner. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to serve them into the bowls. Um, and the smell is just delicious as well, I have to say. So I'm going to try and do this as evenly as possible. 
But chef perks and all that, I think I deserve a few more than my husband, but who, who knows? Well, yeah, I think I have got a few more. I'm going for the larger bowl. <laughs> and then I've also done some coconut cream. I've made some coconut cream and maple syrup. So what I've done is I've got a carton of coconut cream and I've just added a couple of tablespoons of maple syrup to it and I stir it round. And this is my alternative to cream because I'm not very good on dairy so, and I'm fine on coconut. So, so I use this instead of cream, but you can use cream if you want to. So all I'm gonna do now is just add a couple of tablespoons to the strawberries and that is our dessert done. So I'm just gonna try this before my husband comes for his dessert. Mm, this smells really yummy. Mmm, that is so good. The sherry just brings out the sweetness in the strawberries, it's really yummy. So that's how you make my delicious strawberries and sherry and that recipe, as I mentioned earlier, is in my new cookbook, Gifts from Grandpa, and I will link that in the description box below for you. I'll also link the recipe in the description box below too. That's it from me, thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and please feel free to leave any comments below. Do you enjoy strawberries in the summer? And how do you like to eat yours? I'd love to know. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.